Climate crisis is among the biggest challenges that we are facing today. And even while being aware of the risks and the dangers that lie ahead, mankind has failed to address the crisis. And now, in its latest report, the UN Office for Disaster Risk Reduction has found that 350 to 500 medium to large scale disasters took place across the world annually in the last two decades. And this figure is more than five times the average of the preceding three decades. In the last few years alone, climate change has fueled disastrous events across the world. The events have been brought on by droughts extreme temperatures and devastating floods and are projected to occur more frequently in the coming years. The report estimates that by the end of this decade, the world will be experiencing around 560 disasters annually and that figure accounts for 1.5 disasters every day. While presenting the report, the UN Deputy Secretary General Amina J. Mohammed said that we must turn our collective complacency to action and the world needs to do more to incorporate disaster risk in how we live, build and invest, which, I quote, is setting humanity on a spiral of self-destruction. In a strong statement, the UNDRR said that the sharp rise in such events is attributed to a broken perception of risk, one which is based on optimism, underestimation and invincibility. The report highlighted that as a result of this outlook, lax policy, finance and development decisions were taken, further worsening the vulnerabilities and putting people in danger. The report also found out that over the last 10 years, disasters around the world have cost roughly $170 billion annually. And most of these events have occurred in the low-income countries. For them, this number is losing a good 1% of their GDP as compared to the wealthier Western countries where this does not leave that much of a dent. The Asia-Pacific region suffered the highest damage in the last decade and lost an average 1.6% of the GDP to disasters annually. The reality, as you see, is serious and the future projections seem grim. The question that arises is, is there a way out of the devastation? The UNDRR chief says, yes, disasters can be prevented, but only if countries invest the time and resources to understand and reduce the risks. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.